some people would love to see that. Probably want me to play this game now. It says 18 minutes of Ghost of Tashima. Excuse my, you know, if I'm not pronouncing that right. I'm not the best pronouncer in the world. I mean, it's not my job, you know. Uh, gameplay full presentation. We got 1080p, 60 frames per sec uh, second. Yes, stumbling on my words again. That's me, goofy old me. Um, 18 minutes. Let's go ahead and jump right into this, shall we? Ooh. Oh shit. What the fuck is going on? Blood and gore. Partial nudity? Damn, this shit really 60 seconds, bro. Y'all see the way that shit came in? Oh my god. Okay. Hello everyone, I'm Jason Connell from Sucker Punch Productions. What up, bitch? We have a lot to show you today ah! about Ghost of Tsushima. Combat, Ishima? customization, special modes. Ishima? But first, let's take a look at how you explore the world of Tsushima. Tsushima? No way it's pronounced Tsushima. Tsushima? Okay, he said it, bro. I'm saying it like that. Exploring Tsushima. <laughs> Ain't nobody tell me different. That's how the dude in the video said it. Woo! Fucking beautiful, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I feel the wind. I felt the wind, bro. Shouts out to I am Dante. Oh my God. Exploration has been at the heart of our open world design since the very beginning. But you can't have exploration if you don't have curiosity. Facts. So we've continually asked ourselves. How can we let the island guide you in the most thematic and immersive ways possible? See, and I can speak, I can speak on this, okay? Sometimes they'll add little birds that show you what direction you should be going. There might be a little paint strips on the wall and things like that. You know, that's just common, that's just common direction in, in games. So I wonder what he's going to do here. Huh? Is it perhaps the smoke or is it perhaps the, uh, I don't know, something's in my eye. This is beautiful, bro. Mm. Whoa! Oh my god, no way it's that big. Wait, is this an open world? This is an open world game? I thought this was, what, was like yeah, one of these, uh... Damn. I don't fucking know. Top Lemon donated five dollars. Mm. Don't I, you should become a singer, then vocals on Point Kappa. It is open world? Yo, Top Lemon, thank you, bro. I appreciate you. Oh, my God. Oh, it's the... W oh, I like that! That's clean! Wind! Wind! How many times I'm gonna pause it? Man, as many times as I gotta say something, bro. What the fuck is you talking about? The look at this. 
We was just talking about the natural shit, bro. Well, how are we going to do it? Where are we going to have the little stupid highlighted lines that, you know, go on the ground? Where are we going to have a blimp that just pops up and looks fucking weird? <laughs> Out of place? No. Fucking wind, bro. This is, this is beautiful, bro. This is the type of game where you want to play with, like, everything off. Like, the HUD and everything off and just, just live in the world. That's what I want to do, bro. Oh, and you can access it anytime if you're trying to really figure out where to go. It looked like he just did right on the D-pad, and then like the wind picked up again. Oh my god, it's beautiful. I can't wait to touch this game. And the cape, bro. The cape tells you the direction too, bro. I can't wait to touch all over this game and get dirty with it. Fucking bitch. You get a horse? Oh my god, please don't shadow of the Colossus the horse, bro. I can't take it, man. Oh, this is, this may be the best game. Well, yeah, this might be the best game of 2020. Cause you know, I would have, I would have, you know, reserved that for the last of us, but they kind of, it looked like they kind of fumbling the bag, but I'm still give last of us two the chance. Don't get it fucked up. Look at how beautiful this is. Can I, can we go, can, can we just go back and take all that in? There's no HUD or anything. This is probably how, this is how I want to play the game. But my stupid ass, I probably ain't going to be able to do all that, bro. <laughs> My dumb ass ain't probably gonna be able to do all that. Cyberpunk, true, but like, I don't really like first person game, first person shooters, bro. So for, probably for for first person fan, they're probably gonna really fuck with that. Oh yeah, Final Fantasy VII did drop, bro. I'm sorry, I don't know, bro. Top top three, bro. Final Fantasy is my favorite game. I've hundred percented that shit, bro. I've hundred percented that shit. The only games I've hundred percented was Spider Man and God of War recently. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I like how this looks though. Fucking wow, beautiful. Red Dead Redemption was did not come out in 2020. What the fuck is y'all talking about? Oh my god. Did it? Oh it didn't. Look at this, bro. Look at this. The wind. So what was the other thing that popped up on the D-pad? <clears throat> Oh, so you can call your horse. Call your horse and then... What is that? Plus sign. Uh, health, I'm assuming? I don't know. Call a gust of wind any time to point... Plus I, the move. What? Ooh. What the fuck was that? Uh oh, being attacked. I always like that little radar shit. I wanna see the combat. That's a bear? This shit reminds me of Horizon Zero Dawn. I feel like I would get so lost in this game. Not lost as in like, I don't know where the fuck to go, but lost as in just just spending hours just roaming and shit. Finding. Guiding wind can take you to all kinds of locations in the game. Like this farmstead that's been taken over by the Mongols. Rescue the hostages and kill enemies without healing. Can also take you to your next big story moments or even help you find rare collectibles. Oh but what about the things that you don't know about, that you haven't seen yet, that you don't know exist? I hate, I hate and I love games like this because for streaming, I hate games like this because I just want to, I just want to do like side shit or like explore and get like, you know, all the cool rare items. But it's like when you're streaming, you kind of got to get through the game because like, especially if you're like uploading videos and shit like that. But like, God damn, bro. Keep your eyes peeled for other visual cues. Smokestacks on the horizons, interesting and odd shaped trees, or maybe even animals trying to get your attention. Quickly, Nomu! Quickly, Nomu! Arvara Kadava! Expecto Patronum! Ex Veriomus! Yeah! 
this music day one. There's like a pebble in my eye or something, man. Who the fuck is that bird? Some birds will lead you into points of interest, such as hidden locations. See, bro, that's shit I'm talking about, bro. I can't play this game on stream. <laughs> Y'all would get so annoyed, bro. I get distracted easily. I'm gonna be trying to go to the main mission and I'm gonna see a goddamn yellow bird and I'm, be like, I'm about to be like, sorry, y'all. I gotta follow the bird. <laughs> I gotta follow the bird and see where it goes. Y'all niggas, I'm like, oh my God. Will you just go to the main story already, bro? Stay away, my lord. The spirits of vengeful samurai haunt this forest. Shout out to you. Thank you for the sub, bro. Alright, let's go, Nobu. Nobu, that's the that's the horse's name. Big Dog Games. Thank you for the resubscription. Alright. I appreciate you, man. Yo, Bentley. Thank you for gifting the sub, man. I appreciate you. I see you, bro. Hold on, let me make sure I ain't miss nobody. Alright, we good. Uh, explore, ex explore abandoned buildings to collect rare resources. When does this come out? Times 13 supplies. I hope you can customize your outfit and shit like that. I always like when games do that. Like, customize your outfit, your swords, goddamn hat. Is that a fox? Oh my gosh. One of my favorite movies is The Fox and the Hound. Foxes will guide you into hidden shrines across the... Across the island. Is this nigga like Snow White or something? Ooh, shit. Nigga dead. <laughs> So if you find you get unlockables and shit like that, I like how it just shit a little off the screen. Once you uh, revisited a location, you'll be able to return with fast travel. I love me some fast travel. Tsushima is rich with exploration and discovery. And whether you're just following a string of Tory gates that'll lead you to a high mountain shrine, or maybe it's just the fox trying to show you something hidden in the woods. Either way, bring your sense of adventure and let the wind guide you. Ah! Oh my gosh, I wish I knew that Pocahontas song because I don't know. I'm about to do it. I'm about to do that after we finish this whole video. I'm going to go back to this scene and I'm going to play the song over the, over the video. Oh my god. So is it like a night and day uh, cycle? What the fuck Oh my god, that is beautiful, bro. Respect. Plus 10 respect earned. Shout out to I am Dante. My nigga playing the flute or some shit? What the fuck is this, bro? This is a masterpiece already. It's Blaze. Thank you for the resubscription. Prime. Yes, confirmed night and day cycle. Bet. Say less. I love that, bro. Tattooed Cracker. What the fuck is your name, bro? This man's name is Tattooed Cracker. Thank you for the thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the gang, Evan Gang, bro. Crazy ass. There's like fucking boats and shit. What the hell? Just how big is this shit? Oh my god, this looks absolutely amazing. Jin the Samurai. The Samurai. Hi, this is Nate Fox from Sucker Punch. Now, we just showed you some exploration, but let's switch gears and check out some combat. Okay, yes! Please! Let me sit up for this one. Dude, I was already sitting up. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh my god, the beauty of this. You see the lightning, bruh? If you've ever seen a samurai movie, you know what to expect. Two warriors. Sizing each other up. 
waiting for the other. It even says standoff. Look at the fits, bro. Bow and arrow. What the fuck is he wearing? To make the first armor move. and shit. Fight me. Oh, and they respect the honor of the one-on-one. -on -one? Look at him just standing there. Like, make the first move. Oh my god! Oh shit! <laughs> the fucking sauce and disrespect of that shit. You make the first move, nigga. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. The blood just came off the sword. Look at the sword. He just flicked the blood off of the sword. Look at this shit. <laughs> Bruh! Get your filthy residue off my blade. As you can see, the Mongols are everywhere on this island. For Jin to succeed, he has to use real skillful precision in fighting them. No wasted energy. Every strike must count. Mm. I'm sorry, what did that say? Half-O arrow. Got fire arrows? Of course you gotta have fire arrows. Combat stances to inflict the most damage against specific enemy type types. I love how they just have the nigga like once you kill somebody, he's just like <laughs> he just slowly goes down, bro. He hit his arm. He cut his arm off. You see it on the ground. Ah, clean the sword off, right? Clean the sword off. You can bow to these niggas, bruh. That's disrespectful. You might as well teabag him, man. I mean, it's actually it's actually out of respect, right? <laughs> but but bro, that's basically like a teabag, like bitch ass nigga. <laughs> you tried it. <laughs> I already know I'm gonna have so much fun playing this. I'm gonna have a rebuttal every time I do. Every time I bow, I got to bow to every single nigga I kill, bro. Pussy. <laughs> it's honor. That's what it is. Gotcha. <laughs> Oh, is that, isn't that like, um, when you, uh, what's it? When you, um, what, what was it fucking from? When these nigga, when the nigga, when you kill a nigga or something and you put the sword, you put the weapon in their hand as like, so they can go to Valhalla or some shit like that. And is it like a religious or belief thing? I feel like I would be petty though. As soon as I kill a nigga, I just dang, I just hold their sword like like this. <laughs> I'll just hold their sword like this. I'm like, you want to go to Valhalla? You want the sword in your hand? Oopsie! <laughs> That's so fucked up, though. I wouldn't do that shit. You know, you got to show love. Yeah, Vikings, bro. I've been watching a lot of the, the Last Kingdom. I, I watched that full shit, bro. That show is so good. 
Okay, so that was Jin fighting as a samurai. But now let's see him take on the same group of Mongols as the dishonorable ghost. Wait, what? As the ghost, he'll use every dirty trick he can think up to even the odds. Even using fear as a weapon. Hey, Arvo, Shots out to On your right. Can you still bow to him? Will we? Bam! That nigga! <laughs> Jinkies! <laughs> Yo, Sean, thank you for the resubscription. Four months, my boy. I appreciate you. Amy! That nigga, that nigga jumped out his boots! <laughs> Samurai Creed. I've never played. Yo, chill. I was gonna say I never played an Assassin's Creed game. This is I gotta get this though. Like the first Assassin's Creed game I was probably gonna get was the new one that's coming out, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, because I literally finished the Last Kingdom. And when I seen that gameplay, I was like, holy sh this is like exactly what I was just watching. I'm getting this. So, uh, but I'm definitely getting this though. This game here. This shit is beautiful. Slaughter. It says slaughter, assassinate. Why was it different? Why, like, why were the, 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 the why is the tone different on these characters? Oh, he's like Batman! What? Someone tried to throw a spear. Yo! The Mongols will learn to fear the ghosts. Use that to your advantage. Homie was crawling away. Please, please, please. Please, man, I swear to God, man, I'll just leave. Wait, what? Oh, that's the sword. Wait. Oh, that's fire. Bro, was the sword wobbling? Cause ain't that what swords are supposed to do? Like if the, if the sword is completely sturdy, doesn't that mean that shit breaks easily? Like don't swords actually have like a little wobble to it? I'm not a sword expert, but you know, I read some things. I've read some things, you know. I like to read and, you know, I'm knowledgeable upon some things. Okay, so that was, I was about to say, cause it looked like it definitely, like he wobbled that bit like, bitch, who wants some more, man? <laughs> who wants some more, man? I knew I seen some wobble, bro. Where is it at? Right here, right? No, no, no. Right after he kills this dude, bro, the disrespect. Ah! Oh! Right there, bruh. Cause at first I thought he was going like this or something. Bring it on, bitch. Uh-oh. <laughs> My homeboy was just... 
Oh, God, you deserve that. Why was you just looking at a ladder, my boy? You got bombs right behind you, and you looking at a goddamn ladder. Destroy shipyard. Was that just a side mission? And then it just shuck us. Yes, customization. This is what I'm just talking about, guys. You might have noticed that while fighting as the samurai or sneaking around as the ghost, Jin had on a different set of armor. Drip me out in red, bruh. That's because the armor in this game actually gives you different mechanical advantages. Oh. It's not just the way it looks. Okay. It helps accent your chosen playstyle. Oh, and I need a mask too. And I, oh my god, that shit was the sword was red. Just the way it looks. It helps accent your chosen playstyle. I don't care how much I oh is is it is it the sword that's red or is it just the the holding the sword holder, bruh? If I could get a red sword, I don't care what I have to do, bro. I will pre-order the game, bro. I will pre-order the game, bro. I don't care. I was by special edition. I need that, bro. I need that. As you explore the world, you'll discover Omamori charms. They'll give you an edge in battle. Ah, skill points. But more importantly, as your legend grows, you'll develop all new techniques which transform Jin from a samurai into the ghost. Mm. But the thing is, you get to decide how those techniques evolve and grow over time. I love it. It's always worth keeping an eye out for dye flowers. Find enough of them and you can change the color of an armor. So not only do you get to choose how the ghost gameplay evolves, but you can fine tune the look as well. Oh, say less. Photo mode, thumbnail's about to look crisp. It wouldn't be a Sucker Punch game if it didn't have photo mode. In our new photo mode, we have features such as color grading, depth of field, so you can focus on the right objects. Oh my god! We have god. a bunch of new features that really underline the motion and movement that's so great what about the fuck our game. Is this shit? You can control the wind's direction, the speed, you can change out the particles to different types of leaves and fireflies. You can even select a track of music from our original score that might be a little bit more fitting. So if you're into doing a photo, or maybe you actually want to do a video, there's something here for you. Here's a few that I've created. Okay, flex then! <clears throat> oh, that bottom right? That looked fire. That is crazy! Japanese voice track. A Japanese voice track option with subtitles is a perfect fit for our game. Oh, so I'm shit. happy to say that before the first scene even starts, you'll be able to turn this option on. Oh my god, I feel like out of respect, like just to fully embellish in the culture. I'm gonna have to hit that sub, bro. I'm gonna have to hit that sub up, bro. お侍様の戦い方じゃない。何を申す。何を申す。お侍どころじゃないよ。この方はもうこう打ち滅ぼすため。いや、I'm we wanted to create a way for you to feel like you're playing your favorite samurai movie. So we created a windy, black and white, film grained out mode that you can turn on from the very beginning of the game. Nah, I need to see the colors, bruh. Like, y'all doing y'all thing, y'all going all out, but I need them beautiful, vibrant colors. This shit is crazy. These are the type of games I love, bruh. When they put, like, the people who made the game, who made this game, 
it's like they making this game just for them. Like they putting everything that they ever wanted in this game that they would that they want, which comes out beautifully. Cause like you can see the love and detail and care that they put into this shit. Working on some wood, bro. Come on, man. Mm. I just keep getting more. Today, we've shared with you some of the unique ways that you can explore the island of Tsushima. Tsushima. We've also shared with you some of the ways that you can fight as a samurai or assassinate as the ghost customize gin or play in special ways but we have so much more to show you in the future ghost of tsushima comes out on july 17th thank you so much for watching today bye we'll Look at this shit, man. My boy don't pet the my boy don't pet the horse. Oh my god damn, can y'all back the fuck up like god damn god damn That's that's a that's an instant I, that's an instant cop bro Shout out to Ghost of Sushi, man. Shout out to Ghost of Sushi, bro. Yo, my thing is, like, I love the combat on Final Shout Fantasy. It's like, I was about to say, each game that I play, like, the combat just gets better and better. I love the combat. God of War, I absolutely love the combat. I was like, yo, this is so beautiful. I love this. And then I played um fucking um the star that Star Wars game. I was like, oh my god, the combat, bro, this is cool. I just want to fight and shit, bro. Da, 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 da. And then Final Fantasy like seven with that slow mo shit, and then switching characters. Everything was so it was it's just fucking so beautiful to play, like just fun to fight. And then now this, I don't know, bro. I fuck, I don't know. You love the samurai vibes? Yeah, me too. Have you played uh, Horizon Zero Dawn? Yeah, yeah, I played that. I have played that. That's what it was. That's what I was saying at the beginning. I was like, this reminds me of Horizon Zero Dawn. The way he was like collecting the plants and all that shit. Uh, but yeah, it reminds me of that. But that's an that's another thing with Horizon Zero Dawn, bro. I was doing so much exploring in that world, fighting these fucking big ass T Rex and shit. I never finished the game. I never beat the game. I was too busy doing all the side shit, like jumping on the goddamn giraffe looking shits with the flat heads like i, I was doing too much Galactic there was too much to do on that game 16 from canada just got finished building homes for the homeless while benching 500 appreciate the stream don't i but while i am still here mari your moves from yesterday sounded cute as john made me want to purchase a whole cow after that on gang Let me try. Let me let me read through this. Sixteen from Canada just got finished building homes for the homeless while benching five hundred. Appreciate the stream, Dante. But while I'm here, Mari, your mod from yes. Oh no, Mari, your moose from yesterday sounded cute as John. Made me want to purchase a whole cow after that on gang. He, that's what he said. Cute as John. Shout out to I am Dante. Shout out to you, Blastin. Thank you for the resubscription. Prime, prime, prime. 
Hey, that game comes out on my B-Day. But fuck Gay Station still. My nigga, have you heard? Have you heard that uh, they said 